Hey guys, Mr. Oliveri here. I just wanted to read through the essay assignment with you guys as well as go over the outline that we're going to give you. Okay, so we're writing an argument essay. The question is, who is to blame? There are many people who could shoulder the blame for the atrocities that occurred in 1692 during the infamous Salem witch trials. Your task will be to argue which character from the play The Crucible should bear most of the blame and to explain why. Select one character from the play who you think is the most responsible for the events in Salem in 1692. You may wish to consider, but are not limited to, Danforth could be to blame, Abby could be to blame, John Proctor, Reverend Paris, Tichuba, Thomas Putnam. Who's the most to blame for everything? You also need to identify three character flaws each character possesses that would cause them to act the way they did, thus wreaking havoc in Salem. We have a list of flaws below that we'll go over. Write a solid introduction with a thesis statement that specifies the character most to blame, their three character flaws, why and how those flaws contributed to the events in Salem. Support each flaw with at least one quote from the play. Include a counter-argument as to why this character may not be to blame or why another character is a better person to blame, but also remember you want to prove that counter-argument wrong. Write a solid conclusion that reinforces why you selected the character you did and the reasons why that person is the most blameworthy. Obviously, your essay must be typed, double-spaced, turned in on Google Docs. Use only a 12-point font, Times New Roman. You are not to use any other sources for this essay other than your Crucible book. Okay? This is an argument test. Be sure to include a counter-argument. Here we have a nice little sample thesis. In Arthur Miller's play, The Crucible, Miller demonstrated that it was Blank's fault, Abby's fault, John Proctor's fault, whoever's fault. It was Abby's flaws. Flaw number one, flaw number two, flaw number three, that led him or her to be responsible for the tragedy of the Salem witch hunt. This is going to be due Tuesday, April 21st, at midnight. Now, below we have a bunch of character flaws. So if you're going to say John Proctor is to blame, obviously you would pick one of his flaws would be pride. And then the definition of the flaw is listed here. All right, so take a look at all this. Select who you think, remember, one character that you think is the most to blame and their three character flaws. All right, now, let's check out the outline. First, you have your hook, okay? Just hook the reader. Give us a little bit of background information about the play and then your thesis. And remember, this would be a perfectly good thesis that you should follow this template. In Arthur Miller's play The Crucible, Miller demonstrated that it was Blank's flaw 1, 2, and 3 that led him or her to be responsible. There's your intro. Body paragraph 1. Topic sentence with character flaw number 1. Okay, so you have everything set up here. Your body paragraphs are just going to prove and demonstrate that, yep, it's their fault because they had all these flaws. You have flaw number 1. Evidence from the text to support that, and then explain how your evidence supports your claim. Remember, evidence explain. Evidence explain. We've been doing this. We've always done this. We just got to refresh. Body paragraph two is going to look very, very similar. Topic sentence with character flaw number two. Evidence explain. Note these transition phrases. You don't just want to throw in quotes, okay? And then always bring it back to how this supports your claim. This proves, this supports, this illustrates, da 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 Body paragraph three, counterclaim and rebuttal. So, this is when you say there are those who could believe, you, let's say I said John Proctor was to blame. Well, there are some who would say Abby would be the most to blame. However, now i got to prove it wrong, all right? Prove it wrong. And then my evidence to support why the counter argument is wrong and maybe include character flaw number three in there. Then we come to our conclusion. You want to restate your claim, which again, you can use this right here. Restate your claim. Boom. Summarize the main points of your essay, and then have your final lead out statement. Okay? So use this outline, follow this outline if you need it. Make sure you check out the character flaws, you need three of them 
do not just pick a person that you think is to blame and say why. You need to base it off their character flaws, all right? And please make sure to check the schedule for our office hours. Take care, guys.